Right, baby. Blue, red, and black. Looks like colors of flag, right? That's right, I finally got a sponsor. It's extremely rare for me to be able to showcase something I actually like, and that's why I'm very happy to show you Mastic Air Scoops. If you look through my videos, you'll see that I've used these on my Mini 2 and my Air 2S throughout multiple videos. They are priced competitively to DJI. You'll see on their website, they're usually either a little lower or like a dollar or two more. And I personally like the fact that you get a different pitched noise, which is less annoying to people. And at around 50 to 100 feet on the Mini 2, the drone just disappears, allowing you to operate in areas where people would be annoyed, but you can be less annoying, and that's awesome for a drone pilot. No matter what the testing says about this, you should not do this, okay? This product that I've attached to Skydio is not supposed to be used on the Skydio. The Skydio 2 has its own blades, okay? Second of all, this thing is putting serious pressure on those springs and any sort of impact, I guarantee you, those, those retaining clips are not going to survive and Skydio warranty is not going to go with this, okay? This is me trying to test whether or not I can improve the flight time, specifically the hover time, using these propellers, okay? Alright, so before we get started, we're going to weigh the drones and we'll start with the smallest drone. This is the Mini 2, which should come in at around 255 grams because I still have a sun hood. If I remove that, 251 grams. My uh, Mini 2 is uh, needs to go on a diet, but that's okay because mine is registered. Let's look at the Air 2S. It's about 612 grams. Now let's talk about the Skydio 2, which is 494 grams and is actually almost 700, almost 800 grams of raw weight when you put on the battery. So let's talk about the propellers that actually are used with these trucks, right? So the Mini 2, these are the original propellers that come with the Mini 2. They are the kind of swept wing kind of propellers a closer look to them so you can see if you've never seen them so this is what they look like up close they're kind of like the swept wing propeller so you know it bottoms out in the center and that's what the mini 2 propellers usually look like now the air 2s propellers this is the one that comes from dji it does come with that kind of shape but it does have winglets at the end so the heavier drones usually come with winglets so that you end up with a product that is capable of having higher efficiency obviously two blade because that gives you the highest efficiency of course if you go out online you can also find some weird things like these three blade propellers for the air 2s which uh, trade off a little bit of efficiency for a lot more lifting power and obviously uh, um, a much lower uh, noise floor so this is what the Air 2S series and Mini 2. And you can kind of see that in a lot of, you know, in a lot of other propellers, like, you know, FPV propellers are one piece, and then you end up with these, you know, completely swept edge propellers that go out to the edge and 
kind of end up with a kind of bull nose, but not really a full bull nose, okay? Um, if you look at Cinewoop propellers, you end up with eh, roughly the same thing, but in these, in this case of this Cinewoop propeller, you end up with same kind of swept edge, a little bit of a bull nose because these are designed to be ducted, so you wanna you want this to be as close to the circular duct. Um, I think I have a ducted quad somewhere. Ah, yeah, here we go. You want that to be as close at it to the duct that is being used as possible to minimize uh, your losses and improve your efficiency. So the Skydia 2 propellers are very, very weird. Now for a drone that size, right, you end up with a propeller that looks kind of like this. And I like the mechanism, like the retention mechanism is really good, but you end up with kind of a swept edge and then a bull nose at the end instead of any winglets or anything. And the drone, if you look at the propeller, just these two side by side, right? Just the Air 2S and um, you end up with a, the, the propeller starts a lot later. So you see a lot earlier and ends a lot later. So it's, it's a much larger propeller than the Skydio and larger propellers give you better efficiency so in general you end up with better efficiency from for longer propellers and this bonus design is really uh, kind of out of place here and i don't know what to tell you so the point of this video is that a couple of times i've had you know dji propellers and they usually come with these little nubbing so once you damage the propeller you got to throw the whole thing away right just throw the whole thing away um, however, I went online and I found a propeller from a company and I just found this on a website and I bought it and I didn't even know what I was buying and the interesting thing about this propeller is that it uses uh, Torx. So on the bottom of the propeller you actually find Torx screws which uh, means that this is removable and also reversible. So what I mean by that is that if you take your Skydio 2 and I bring it over here, I can actually take off the, sorry, the white one, because this is a white propeller. I can take off the white propeller that is on the Skydio and place this propeller in its place. And it just barely cleans, clears the, the frame. So the best part is that it's because it's below the, uh, the obstacle avoidance line. So obstacle avoidance will not freak out about this being there. So after knowing this, after knowing that it could be reversed, I went out and bought a set so I can modify them. And that's what we're going to do today. The question here is, can we modify these? Can the drone fly? And it's using a winglet design, kind of like this on the Skydio 2, with a slightly bigger blade than what comes with the Skydio 2, going to give you any sort of performance increase, right? So. There's a couple questions I have. The first question is, did Skydio, you know, did, is the power draw so large on the on the obstacle avoidance that it doesn't matter that the propeller efficiency isn't that good? Or is it the design because it's much larger than the uh, standard propellers? If you look, the point at which the propeller start is much closer on the, on the propellers that I got from a third party and the Skydio ones. Now, there's a couple of reasons you shouldn't do this. The first reason and the most important reason is that these propellers were designed for DJI products. And Skydio 2 manual obviously says you should only use products designed for Skydio. And this manufacturer obviously says you shouldn't be using these for something else. This is going to be for a hover test and an efficiency test. And the best part is because those torque screws, I can just buy the replacement plastics and still reuse this after I'm done with it. So I'm just gonna take my flush cutters and the, what I need to do here is really simple. I need to carve kind of like this one. I'll show you. Ah, yeah, removing these is impossible after you put this. Ah, I need to carve kind of like here into the center to allow the, um, the retention clips on the Skydio to hook onto this, okay? So I'm going to start with this one and I will just go into it. And what I want to do is I don't want to screw up the circle too much, but I still want to flush cut. The, the R2S attachment points off. Once I have those removed, 
This is clearly a white propeller, right? So this is the one that is reversed. So the reverse one needs to go on the motor that is going downwards. So when you flip it over, it's actually the right side up. Kind of like that. And then this white one that is not reverse can go onto the not reverse portion, which is here. Now, sometimes it won't fit. Just go in and do a little bit more flush, flush, uh, flush cutting. It's okay. Uh, the blades should be fairly balanced, but this will not be after I make this change. So there you go. And it's gone in and it's hooked in and it's not going to fly out. And there you go. Now I'm going to do the same to the remaining two blades that I have. And I'm going to test it, see if the obstacle avoidance is giving me any sort of errors. And then we'll go out to the park to check if it works. All right, so I turn on the camera just so you guys could see the reversal process that is gonna happen here. So here's the last propeller. This is the black, non-white. That's the one that goes on the on the blue and the whites go with white, okay? So um, I wanted to show you the reversal process because that part is kind of the, the problem here. It's the, it's, the, it's the big kahuna here. It's what makes it all happen, right? So I'm gonna flush cut this, try not to ruin the center too much. Take out both of the screws. flipped over the blades and I'm just going to screw them back on. And now, once you flip it over, you can remove the original Skydio blades and put in this one. It's kind of a tight fit, so I'm flush cut a little more. Hey guys, so I just noticed this video is over 15 minutes long, so I'm just gonna cut it here. Uh, tropical Storm Nicole has been announced to come to Florida, and it's probably not a good idea to be flying around while there's a tropical storm. So I'm gonna do the testing after this Thursday, but I do expect to get an update for you before next week.